Hello, welcome back once again to the statistical mechanics lecture. In this video, I will explain how canonical ensemble theory is used for obtaining thermodynamics of a system of harmonic oscillators. Here, let us consider a system of n independent harmonic oscillators. Let us first consider classical harmonic oscillator. Here we only consider one dimensional harmonic oscillator. Okay, one dimensional harmonic oscillator. So let us consider an independent one dimensional harmonic oscillators. We are treating this as classical harmonic oscillators. Now what is the Hamiltonian of one oscillator? Hamiltonian. H is equal to half K Q square plus 1 by 2 P square by M. Okay. Let it be Q I square I to particle. Okay. So P I square divided by 2M. Here I can go from 1 to up to N. There are N particles. Okay. The system consists of N one dimensional harmonic oscillators. Okay. Therefore, the single oscillator partition function. Partition function. In the canonical ensemble, we start with the partition function. So, first one, uh, first thing is single particle partition function q1 is equal to actually partition function is equal to q is equal to q1 is equal to summation e raised to minus beta h okay if energy uh, energies energy values are or energy levels are very closely spaced then it will become integration okay so this is uh, integral e raised to minus beta h is half k q square plus half p square by m into dq dp divided by h okay so we have to multiply when we integrate we have to multiply with this this factor this represent the total number of states within the small volume dq dp okay here area dq dp so this is the total number of states so this uh, q can go from minus infinity to plus infinity and p also can go from minus infinity to plus infinity so this is the integration so we have to evaluate this integration then we will get a single particle partition function 1 by h integral minus infinity to infinity raised to minus beta m omega square divided by 2 k is here k is m omega square here omega is the angular frequency m is the mass of the oscillator k is the force constant okay so m omega square divided by 2 into q square dq integral minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus beta p square divided by 2m dp okay since this uh, fu function is this function is even function so we can evaluate minus infinity to infinity raised to minus beta m omega square divided by 2 q square dq can be written as twice 0 to infinity raised to minus beta m omega square divided by 2 q square okay dq just equal to Okay, so Q square, A Q square, a constant Q square. Now we have to change this DQ also in terms of DQ square. So D, this will be D of Q square divided by 2Q. Okay, so D of Q square is 2Q into DQ. So therefore DQ is equal to DQ square divided by 2Q. Okay, so here 1 by 2 is there. So this is this 2 and this 2 get cancelled. Therefore, this will be 
zero to infinity e raised to minus beta m omega square divided by two q square and here one by q is there one by q can be written as q square minus one by two so q square minus one by two is q raised to minus one that is one by q into d of q square okay now let us put uh, q square as x therefore this integral will become 0 to infinity e raised to minus a x x raised to minus 1 by 2 dx okay this integral is nothing but gamma of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is gamma of half divided by a raised to e to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so that is also a raised to 1 by 2 gamma of half divided by a raised to half okay so here this, this can be written as gamma of gamma of half divided by a is nothing but beta m omega square divided by 2 to the power 1 by 2 okay similarly so this is this integral now similarly the integral 0 to infinity sorry minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to minus beta p square divided by 2m dp is can be written as twice 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta p square divided by 2m dp okay which is equal to 2 times 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta p square divided by 2m d of p square divided by 2p okay so this also can be written as rho to infinity e raised to minus beta by 2m p square p raised to p square rho raised to minus 1 by 2 d of p square okay so this this is also gamma of 1 by 2 a a is beta divided by 2m all raised to 1 by 2 okay so our integral this will become the partition function will become 1 by h so the single particle partition function is equal to 1 divided by h gamma of 1 by 2 divided by beta m omega square divided by 2 raised to 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by beta divided by 2 m raised to 1 by 2 okay we know gamma of half gamma of half is nothing but minus 1 by 2 factorial this is root pi okay so therefore partition function of single oscillator q1 is equal to 1 divided by h okay here this is root pi this is root pi so it will be pi only pi divided by beta omega divided by 2 so therefore this is equal to h divided by 2 pi h divided by 2 pi is h cross so this can be written as kt divided by h cross omega partition function of single oscillator is kt divided by h cross omega here kt beta is equal to 1 divided by kt okay okay so the partition function of n one dimensional oscillators is given by q n is equal to q1 raised to n here the oscillators are distinguishable so we are considering these uh, oscillators as distinguishable oscillators because these oscillators are representation of the energy levels available in the system these energy levels are clearly distinguishable so for distinguishable particles uh, no need to divide this thing with a uh, n factorial okay so for indistinguishable particle uh, qn is equal to 1 divided by n factorial q1 power 
n but for distinguishable particles this is just a uh, q1 raised to n okay therefore this partition function total partition function q n is equal to okay next step is to find out the uh, thermodynamics so the first quantity we are finding out is uh, helmholtz free energy Helmholtz function A is equal to minus kT log Q, okay, Qn, the partition function of the system. Here K is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature. Okay, so uh, this is equal to log Q is equal to N log kT divided by H cross omega. So this will be minus N kT log kt divided by h cross omega or this can also be written as n kt log h cross omega divided by kt okay so this is the helmholtz free energy next is uh, the entropy so entropy can be found out from helmholtz free energy by this formula s is equal to minus partial a partial t okay the constant n and volume v okay so here from first law of thermodynamics we know tds is equal to du plus p dv minus mu dn okay but uh, a is equal to u minus ts da is equal to du minus t ds minus s dt this is equal to du minus t ds is equal to du minus p dv plus mu dn minus t ds minus this is minus t ds okay minus s dt okay so this T is equal to minus P D V minus S D T plus mu D N. So we got partial A partial T is equal to minus S. Okay. So using this expression, we can find out uh, what is S. Okay. So this s is equal to minus of partial a partial t so here t is there here also t is there so first let me take nk log h cross omega divided by kt minus nkt differential of this thing differential of this thing would be 1 divided by h cross omega divided by kt into h cross omega now we have to differentiate h cross omega divided by kt h cross omega divided by k into minus 1 by t square okay so finally what we are getting is minus n k log h cross omega divided by kt so here minus is there here minus is there so all these get cancelled finally what we are uh, left with is uh, plus n k okay so this is equal to this can be written as this can be also written as n k log k t divided by h cross omega log k t divided by h cross omega plus n k so this 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 is like this okay 1 plus log k t divided by h cross omega into n k Okay, so this is the entropy. Next is uh, the pressure. Pressure is using this expression minus partial A partial V with a T and N constant. Hmm. So here in this expression, in this expression of uh, Helmholtz free energy, there is no volume term. Okay, so this, this is equal to zero so if we differentiate it will be zero only 
Next is the chemical potential. Chemical potential mu is equal to partial A partial N with T and V constant. Here this is n k t log h cross omega divided by k t. So we can write this thing as uh, k t log h cross omega divided by k t. Okay. So this is the chemical potential. It has the dimension of energy. H cross omega is energy. K t also energy. So this is having the dimension of k t which is the energy. Okay. So chemical potential is a kind of energy. Next is uh, we want to find out the average energy, okay, internal energy. Internal energy U is equal to minus partial by partial beta log Q, okay, or KT square partial partial T log Q. Both are right, okay, so we can use either this expression or this expression. Therefore, this is equal to kt square partial partial t of log q is log kt divided by h cross omega all raised to n. So this is nothing but uh, kt square partial derivative of n log kt divided by h cross omega. So this n can be taken outside. So n kt square log uh, log kt divided by h cross omega. Partial derivatives h cross omega divided by kt into derivative of kt divided by h cross omega would be k divided by h cross omega. Okay. So this is h cross omega h cross omega get cancelled. kt kt is uh, t square is there. So finally, what we are left is left with is n k t. So internal energy is equal to u is equal to n k t. Okay. Next is uh, C V is equal to um, partial u partial t at constant n and v. Mm. So this is equal to this is equal to n. So CV is equal to NK. Hmm. Now we will find out uh, the heat capacity at constant pressure. CP is equal to partial derivative of enthalpy. Partial H, partial T. Okay, and it's constant N and pressure. This here in this case the enthalpy. Enthalpy, okay. H is equal to internal energy plus PV, pressure into volume. So here P is zero. So therefore, this is equal to U only. So therefore, this is equal to partial U, partial T only. So this is equal to NK. Okay. CP also equal to NK. So CV is equal to CP is equal to NK. Therefore, uh, the ratio of heat capacities CP divided by CV is equal to 1. Okay. So we obtained all the thermodynamic quantities uh, using the partition function. So first we found out the partition function of single oscillator, uh, one dimensional oscillator. Then we obtained the partition function for uh, the system of n harmonic oscillators. Okay. So we have treated uh, this oscillators as classical harmonic oscillators. Now in the next lecture we will uh, talk about the quantum harmonic oscillator system. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you in the next video.